why your success is the last thing narcissists want to see. The narcissist has to invalidate you. They have to reduce and underestimate your worth and importance. They have to act like you're nothing. Like you never did anything for them. Regardless of how much you did. You could have completely upgraded their lives. It doesn't make a difference when it's all over. They will still invalidate you. They will still make you feel small. Because they're very insecure. They feel inferior to you. They feel like you're better than them. So they have to level the playing field. They have to put you beneath them. And it's very easy for them to do that. Because they lack empathy. They feel nothing for you. They only feel for themselves. Their disorder revolves around them regulating their own emotions. So they lack the capacity to even consider you. They have to put themselves first because they're very fragile and insecure. And they're constantly trying to stabilize their emotions. But when they feel inferior to you, you become a threat to them. Because you intimidate them, you're outside of their control. Which is why you may notice that everything is fine with the narcissist. Until you start trying to become better. Until you start to make new friends. Or find new hobbies and interests. Because narcissists are maladaptive. They resist change. They like things to be predictable. So that it's always within their control. Any time that you try to upgrade yourself, it will trigger the narcissist. Because they don't know how you're going to see them and treat them once you become better. They fear that you might start to realize you're greater than them and then they won't be able to control you. Because then you would realize that they're not bringing anything to the table. They're not doing anything positive for you. So the last thing they want is for you to experience any progress or success. They're unconcerned about your goals and dreams, but they want to prevent you from being too productive. Because it took a lot of work for them to put you in this state. To overcome, quieten and bring you under their control to overpower and conquer you, to get the better of you, where they can invalidate you and put you down, where you feel small, where you feel like you're lacking something, where you feel like you're not good enough. But once they've deprived you of your individuality, you will then obey their orders and rules. You will then follow their wishes and commands. You're not going to put up a fight. You're not going to defend yourself. Because at that point, you don't even know who you are. They've stripped you of your identity. They will make it seem like your success is a problem. Like you're making things difficult for them. If you try to start a new business, they will complain about the money you have to invest into it. They will make you feel like you will never succeed, like you'll never amount to anything. They will try to discourage you, but they will make it seem like they're trying to help you. You could be doing really well. 
but they will act like they don't see any potential in what you're doing. They will invalidate you. They will downplay your success and accomplishments. They will make it seem like it's less important than it really is. Because they're very envious and jealous. They're constantly comparing themselves to you and they feel small in comparison. They feel like they could never measure up to you, which is why they can't praise or compliment you. Because they're unhappy and dissatisfied with their lives, so all they can do is go against you. They will never take notice of the things you've done well, but they will be all over you like a rash if you do one thing wrong. They can't be happy for you because they're miserable and they haven't achieved anything. So your success may make them really mad. They may even insult you and put you down because they can't stand to see you happy. So they will make it seem like you have no reason to be proud of yourself. They will make you feel like a bad person. They will make you feel like what you're doing isn't that great. They will say they don't like it or something is wrong with it when you thought they would have been happy for you. You thought they would have been glad to see you succeed at something but they can't see it that way because it triggers them to reflect on their own lives and how theirs isn't like that. They have to watch you climb up until you're above their heads and then they have to start looking up to you until you start to see how small they really are and they don't want you to see them in that way. That's how they're seeing it, even though you may not see it that way. So they have to put you down. They have to make you feel small so that you don't start seeing them in the way that they already see themselves. They feel inferior. They feel like they're not enough. And that is why they react in this way when they're forced to witness your success. Because normally, they would avoid having to see that. If you achieved anything, they were never there to see it. But if anything went wrong, they were always there to give their opinions about it. They were always there to tell you how they feel. And that is why it's so important to avoid these types of people. People who are not comfortable with your success. Surround yourself with those who are on good terms with you. People who will support you for the good and the bad. You need to have people who support and encourage you. But that's something the narcissist is never going to do because they feel inferior. They feel like they're deficient in something which results in them becoming very envious and jealous of you. But when they act in that way they're giving you information about themselves. They're showing you who they are. And when you see that, you should stop making an effort with them. Because you should know that they don't care about you. They will invalidate you. They will pick you apart. They will always find something wrong with what you're doing. So you need to counteract that. You need to avoid them. Don't make a big thing of it. Don't blow it out of proportion. Just recognize what they're doing and don't let it affect you. Don't even consider it. Because then you're just doing what they want you to do. You're hurting yourself and helping them. They want you to feel like that. So that you remain in the same position. So that you don't progress and succeed so that you lose motivation. Because you don't want to deal with their criticisms, which is how they want it to affect you. It's intended to keep you down. And it's very cruel. They're using you for a bad purpose. They're mistreating you. But you have to wake up and recognize what they're doing. So that you can free yourself from it.
thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.